Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. Okay, this video, this video still in the topic three elasticities. So we continue from the last part about price elasticity of demand, and today I will explain. This video will explain about determinants of price elasticity of demand. Basically, you uh, should read by your own self for this, but I will explain roughly. For determinants of price elasticity of demand, quite different with determinants of demand. So for this, what are the factors that determine whether the product is elastic or inelastic? The first factor is availability of substitute. We look at how many substitute for the product. If the product has many substitute, the demand would be elastic. But if the product has no or less substitute, that could be considered as inelastic demand. For example, petrol. Okay. Second is proportion of expenditure on a product. We see how big the, uh, how bigger or smaller the proportion of the expenditure. For example, if your income is one thousand and the product is 500 around half of your income so that is considered as high high proportion so for that uh, for that case if the product ha has high proportion of your income the demand would be elastic but if the product has a low proportion small proportion of your income considered inelastic Next factor is nature of goods. Nature of goods, whether the product is luxury or necessity good. If the product is luxury good, the demand will be elastic. Very sensitive to the price. When the price uh, lesser or more cheaper, for a small percentage, many people will get the product. So quantity demand, very responsive to the change in the price. But... If the product is necessity good, um, the demand would be inelastic. Quantity demand does not care much about the changes in price because it is necessity good. Next factor is income level. For income level, for the higher income group, means rich people, they don't they don't care much about the change in price. So the demand would be inelastic. As compared to lower income group, they will they are very sensitive with the change in price. So the demand would be elastic. For the time dimension, time dimension here refer to the period to respond the change in the price. For example, um, during sales, maybe year-end sales. If the, the, the period of the year-end sales is longer, the demand would be elastic because people have, tend to have more time to respond to the change in the price. But if the period of certain sales is small, for example, only one hour. People tend to uh, don't have time to to survey other product. Therefore, um, the demand would be inelastic. For habits, um, if you have habit for that product, for example, um, heavy smoker, they don't care much about the change in the price of cigarette. So, the demand would be inelastic. If you don't have um, habits for that, for that product, that would be elastic. And join demand for the complementary goods. If uh, both product has joint demand, the demand, uh, the demand would be more elastic. But if don't have joint demand, less elastic. Okay, that's rough idea how to explain about determinants of price elasticity of demand 
Next, we move to relationship to total revenue. This information is very useful for the seller to adjust your selling price since it will affect the total, re total revenue. Total revenue is different with profit. Total revenue is uh, price times quantity before you deduct your cost. After you deduct the cost of production, that is profit. Okay, for total revenue, price times quantity. For example, you sell um, burger at two ringgit per unit, and you sell. Uh, you already sold around hundred unit, so the total revenue around two hundred ringgit. That is total revenue. You didn't deduct with the cost yet. Okay, that is total revenue. So. You will change the price, increase or reduce the price in order to get more revenue. But your decision it will depend on um, elasticity. For example, if your product has elastic demand, for example, you sell luxury good, elastic demand. So in order to increase your total revenue, you have to reduce a little bit price in order to get maximum revenue. You can look at this um, example. When the price is 30 ringgit, you will get the total revenue around 150. And if you reduce the price to 20 ringgit, then your total revenue will be higher. If you sell the product which has inelastic, demand it would be different in order to increase your total revenue you have to increase the price for example you sell necessity product or you just sell burger at one place which never uh, no no other seller only you who sell that burger so for this case better you increase the price because people don't have any choice to eat to, to, to buy burger so when you increase the price your total revenue will also increase even though the quantity demand reduce but total revenue overall total revenue will increase okay if your demand is inelastic increase the price if demand elastic demand reduce the price okay and if the product, your product is unitary elastic, um, no point to increase or reduce because total revenue still the same. Okay. Uh, and I think I will proceed to cross elasticity of demand in this video. Okay, let's look at cross elasticity of demand. Cross elasticity of demand means that uh, it is to measure the sensitivity or responsiveness of quantity demand of one product due to a change in the price of a related product. So this involves two products. This elasticity, the purpose of this elasticity is to determine whether the product, the relationship of two products substitute or complementary or not related at all. So, so that's why the and this is the cross means that um, quantity demand of chicken uh, how quantity demand of chicken responds to the price the change in the price of meat for example or um, how quantity demand of car responds to the changes in the price of petrol okay understand and this formula percentage change percentage change quantity demand of good x any goods divided by percentage change for the price of good y any other goods or qx qx means quantity for good x the new one one okay the new new quantity demand for good x minus 
the new uh, the original quantity demand for good x divided by quantity demand for good x times the original price of good y divided by the new price of good y minus the original price of good y so you will get the coefficient value and for this elasticity you have to take whatever the answer it is whether the answer is negative or positive or zero okay because each uh, coefficient value will determine the relationship of the product if your result your coefficient value you will get positive okay any number for positive value means that the good x both goods are substitute goods but if you get negative value means that both goods are complementary goods but if you get zero no relation at all for example Mm, the uh, quantity uh, the change in quantity demand of shoes and price of chicken not related at all okay okay so uh, I will stop here next video I will explain income elasticity and price elasticity of supply all right stay tuned bye